Welcome to the video lesson for prefixes and suffixes. Midway through this video lesson, there will be a pause. At that point, if you plan to stop and only complete the prefixes work, just go ahead and close the video out and come back to suffixes for next week. In addition, at the end of both the prefixes and suffixes video lessons, there are bonus one-to-many exercises for students that would like to go a little bit deeper. To complete the follow-up work for both the prefixes and suffixes lessons, you will need your composition notebook, a writing pencil, red and black colored pencils, and one set from each of the three potential sets that are available on the drive for both prefixes and suffixes. Here in my rug, I have laid out our first set of prefixes. In the middle here, I have the pile of stem words with the prefixes distributed across the top of the rug. I will first lay out all the stem words in two columns. School, hero, interest, merge, behave, like, proper, act, solved, and angle. Now let's take a look at our prefixes across the top of the rug. We're gonna search for the prefixes that match up to our stem words. Why don't we start with the first prefix on the top, dis. And let's check it against all the stem words that are already laid out on the rug. Dis school, no. Dis hero, no. Dis interest, ooh, dis interest seems like it could be a really good match. I wonder if we were to take disinterest, could we then turn it into a sentence? His, ooh, let's grab our different colors here to record. Red for our prefix, D-I-S, dis, and black for our stem word, interest, I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T. His disinterest was his disinterest was obvious when looking at him. All right, that's our example sentence. His disinterest was obvious when looking at him. Let's go ahead and match up the rest of our prefixes. Miss school, miss hero, miss misbehave, that's definitely a match. Super, super school, that sounds fun, but I'm not sure if that matches. Superhero, yeah, superhero. How about sub? Sub school? No, that doesn't seem like it works. Sub, submerge. Submerge. Submerge can definitely work. Let's look at our next prefix. Un. Un. We're over in our next column now, so do we have a match with unlike? Yeah, unlike for sure. That's definitely a word. How about try? Try school? Try proper, try act, mm, try angle. Try angle is definitely the word we're looking for there. Let's look at pre, how about pre? Pre-school, pre-school looks like we have a match right away there, pre-school for sure. Next prefix, next prefix is dis. Dis proper, dis act, Dissolved. Dissolved is definitely a word that matches there. Re. Re. Can we re-proper? Re-proper? No. React. We can react. That's a good one. And our final prefix, im. Hmm, we only have one stem word left, so 
Put it right up there with improper. Let's go through our words again, shall we? Preschool. Superhero. Disinterest. Submerge. Misbehave. Unlike. Improper. React. Dissolve. Triangle. Now, the expectation for follow-up work for this lesson is that we will record at least four sentences in a notebook using four of our prefixes that we have created. For example, we will use our red pencil to write pre, our black pencil to write the stem word, pre-school. We'll grab our regular number two writing pencil to then create a sentence. A kindergarten student is in preschool. All right, let's move on to our next word. Grab our red pencil to write the prefix, super, and our black pencil to write the stem word, hero. Let's go ahead and write a sentence. Teachers are real life superheroes. All right, let's go on to our next word. I'm going to grab our red pencil to write the prefix. Miss, get our black pencil for the stem. Behave. Go ahead and write that sentence. My dog will misbehave if she sees a squirrel. And for our final word, we will grab our red pencil to write the prefix un and our black pencil to write the stem word like. Grab our writing pencil then and write our full sentence. Our school for the last two months has been unlike any school we've ever attended. Now, go ahead and choose your own four words with prefixes and create your own sentences. The next part of this lesson is the one-to-many additional follow-up if you would like to go a little bit deeper. You can see all of our prefixes are laid out on the mat here. Let's see if we could choose one of our prefixes and search for as many potential words that we can create using the same prefix. In this case, we chose the prefix pre, fitting for the prefix lesson. Let's go ahead and write as many words as we could think of that use the prefix
Now that I've recorded all of the prefixed words using the prefix pre, I'm going to go ahead and choose the final word of this list to search for the definition. In this case, I'm going to look up the definition for prefix and then record it in the notebook. Prefix, an affix, which is placed before a stem word. On the bottom there, you can see I added a little extra definition for what affix means or affix. Now let's choose one more prefix for our one-to-many game in which we can list all of the words that we could think of that match that prefix. Hmm, how about, yeah, sub. Now the final word that I wrote down using the prefix sub is submarine. I'm gonna look up the definition for submarine. The definition that I found states that submarine is a vessel that can be submerged or navigated under water. If today all you plan on completing is a prefix lesson, that is the end of your prefix lesson. We will now begin the suffix lesson. Welcome to the video lesson for suffixes. On the mat here you can see I have two piles, the base word and our suffixes. Let's lay out our base words. Self. Judge. Poison. Wood. Jump. Sad. Home.
friend. Wish. And young. Now let's spread out the suffixes across the mat. And start to explore some matches. Hmm. Let's start with... Ing. Ing. Self-ing? No. Judge-ing? Mm. Poisoning. That could work. I'll come back to that. Wooding. Jumping. Jumping. Yeah, let's go with jumping. Jumping seems like a good spot there. Alright, let's grab our next word. Ment. Self-ment. Judgment. Judgment is definitely a word. Let's go ahead and continue to search for our matches. As we find our final match here, let's go ahead and review the words selfish, judgment, poisonous, wooden, jumping, sadly, homeless, friendship, wishful, youngest. Alright, let's look at some of our follow up here for our, our suffixes. We're going to record our words in the notebook and then look for some definitions. Let's go for maybe three, four words. One, two, three. You can probably get four words on there. Youngest. And we're look for the definition. A person, animal, or object that is the least old of a group. Youngest. Friendship. The state of being friends or acting friendly. Oh, poisonous. What can we do for poisonous? Poisonous. Let's... Write it down. Hmm. Poisonous. Poisonous, the definition. Producing poison as a means of attacking enemies or prey. Venomous. Write it up there. Poisonous, producing poison as a means of attacking enemies or prey. Venomous. Now, just like our prefix lesson, if you would like to go a little bit deeper, the next portion of this lesson is for a game called One to Many. It will take us a little bit deeper into our exploration of suffixes. First up, let's review the definition of suffixes. An affix occurring at the end of a word or base. For our one-to-many game, we're going to use the suffixes S as in the letter S and S as in ES. Then we're going to search for matches using this list of words here. I've now cut up the list into individual words 
and I'm going to distribute them into two columns matching them with the suffix that they connect to. S, the letter S, E, S, S. Let's look at our words. Hmm. Dogs. Dogs. Yep, that looks like that matches. D-O-G-S. Let's see if we could find a match with our ES column, or S. How about fox? Foxes. Fox. Foxes. Yep, that looks like that matches. Foxes. Let's continue to go through our words and search for the suffix match. See if you could notice a pattern or a connection as to why we believe each word is placed in that specific column. In our columns now, in the S column, we have dogs, eats, walks, bugs. And in our ES column, we have foxes, dishes, buses, and peaches. We could see that these match, but have we noticed a pattern as to why these specific words go into each of these specific suffix columns? Hmm. For the follow up work for suffixes the one many, we're going to ask you to make your two columns of S and ES and then fill up the page with each column, adding in new words that match that suffix. In this case, you can see we added in pencils for our S column and mixes for our ES column. Continue on to that bottom of the page, friends. Enjoy the one to many and have fun with the entire work in itself.